In this feature video, we're going to take a look at some of the enhancements to our audio timeline window added in software version V1910 onwards. In previous feature videos, we've already covered how to use the audio timeline window. So let's take a look and see what's changed. So here you can see my audio timeline window with the waveform along the top of the window, my cues and timecode tracks below. What we've added in this version is the ability to record timecode tracks directly in the timeline window itself. So without having to go into your timecode track window, you can hit the add TC track button. This will start your timeline playing and you can now go and hit flash button presses or fader movements like so. And these will be recorded directly into a timeline window. When you're finished, hit release and you'll see here at the bottom are my new events that I've recorded and you can scroll along and you can see the various flash button and fader movements involved in that track. We've also added in this version the ability to lasso select items to do functions like copying and removing of events and cues inside the timeline window. So for example here I've got this sequence of flash button presses. I can use shift on console or PC and drag and lasso select those items. Press my copy button and then press enter and you can see it's made a copy of all of those flash events on that particular track and it's automatically selected the items that have been copied my new items so I can click and drag and move those up I can scroll up and see the timeline there and I can line those items up exactly where they need to be you can do the same with removing click drag lasso select and you can do it across multiple tracks as well at the same time but I'm just going to keep these two items here and you can use remove and press enter to remove items along your timeline as well in this software version, we've also added the ability of a new center scroll mode. So when your timeline's playing, if you want to see the playhead, if it's off screen, you can hit the center scroll button here, and you can see now it now centers my playhead and the timeline scrolls around it. You can obviously switch that option off, and then the playhead would move as normal. When it hits the end, your timeline moves, as you can see here. The option's on your Y encoder here for you to turn on and off. If I release my track here, we've also added the ability to now offset timecode directly in the window. So if I pause my track here, you can of course still scrub your playhead around by clicking and dragging and hearing the audio at the same time. But if I want to offset my timecode value, you can now do that using your keypad. You can do that by either entering the conventional timecode format, timecode using a forward slash, or you can type it in uh, seconds and milliseconds as well. So if I type in here plus uh, 500 and then click on my encoder, you can see it's offset me by that amount and bumped up my playhead to that value. Another thing to show you that we added a little while ago as well is our timecode loops in the timeline window. So up here you've got enable TC loop, which if you hold your shift button down, you've got a configure loop. Timecode loops are very handy when you've got particularly maybe a longer audio file that you're listening to and you're working on your cues or that particular part of the track. You can set in and out points. You can see once I've done that, Top of the window, I've got set loop in, set loop out point. I'm going to hit click there to set my in point. I'm going to keep playing, but I'm going to hit set my out point here. You can see it's put two markers there. When I go back and hit enable loop, you can now see my timeline is just going to play between those two points there. So it'll keep looping in that point, allowing me to work in that particular part of my track. When I'm finished, I toggle off enable TC loop and the timeline will keep playing as normal. You want to reset those points again shift configure loop and you can reset different time code in and out points so that's our enhancements to our timeline window in software version 1910